Hello and welcome once again to Red Gaming Tech. My name is Amata. Today is the 30th of April and this time I bring you some news from the PS4 and Sony. Uh, Sony will be updating the PS4 system software today on April the 30th to version 1.7 and they have actually released the official list of new features coming to the console with this update. As of course with any um, update that was talked about before it was actually out, some features may not be making the final cut. Now, as was previously reported by myself and many people, the biggest feature of this update is the Share Factory, which is a free video editing suite that will let you edit your gameplay clips before sharing. Now, they did release a new video demonstrating the capabilities of the Share Factory, and of course, the link is in the description below this video if you wish to go check it out, as well as, of course, an introductory video which was released last week, and that will be in the description as well if you wish to give it a look-see if you haven't already. Now, the other main highlight is a HDCP off option, which will basically let you stream gameplay footage through HDMI using a capture card and a new pre-order downloadability to basically automatically pre-download PS4 games up to several days rather prior to release in order to basically play them the minute that they are unlocked on release day. Now Sony is also releasing a Vita system software update version 3.15 and that's going to be released tomorrow. But of course this video is about the 1.7 PS4 system update and of course I'm going to be giving you the full details. Of course we have the Share Factory, the automatic downloading for pre-ordered games, the HDCP off and then we also have the USB export option and this is basically the ability to export captured video screenshots or edited Share Factory videos by pressing the share button on the DualShock 4 controller and this is basically going to be allowing you to do this to a USB drive um, so basically, if you just want, if you don't want to use the Share Factory, for example, what you could actually do is capture the game player that you want to have, share it to a external hard drive, just for example, or whatever, or a USB drive, or whatever it is, you know, your platform of choice, um, and then you can put it on your PC and upload it to YouTube, blah blah blah, whatever. So they also have watch live broadcasts and a HD or view broadcasts later with archiving support and the official blurb for this reads quote with the upcoming update users will have the option to broadcast their gameplay in 720p HD resolution as well as archive their broadcasts via Twitch and Ustream. Now, additional updates include um, brightness settings for the light bar on the DualShock 4, and they'll be available in bright, medium, and dim, which will be accessible in the settings menu. And users will also have the option to control the on-screen keyboard using the touchpad on the DualShock 4, and of course you can either tap or click the touchpad or press the X to actually accept an input. Now, they also have alternative payment methods for the PlayStation Store, and this will include PayPal support, which I think is going to make many, many people happy. And they also have updated settings for sharing, which will allow you to upload screenshots or video clips during a live broadcast. Change the default recording time for gameplay captures, and also select only the specific screenshots and video clips you want to save in your PS4 system. And they said, quote, in addition, users will have more control with the privacy of the uploaded shared videos or screenshots on Facebook, with the ability to select the audience to whom the upload will be visible. And you, you also have some improvements to friends and the friends list as you can now find friends easier and send requests with the ability to search for friends of friends and you can also view mutual friends on the other, the other, other user's profile and of course accept friend requests directly from the friends lists. And trophies will be able to be sorted by rarity from the options menu. They've also added additional voice commands to the PlayStation camera and you will also be able to launch selected installed apps using this. And Music Unlimited, and they said, quote, PS4 users with a subscription to Music Unlimited will be able to share songs by pressing the share button on the DualShock 4 controller. So there you have it, the full rundown of everything included in the upcoming 1.7 update. As I said, it's going to be loaded today. So, um, of course, the time you're going to get it depends on the time in your region, but it's already, of course, um, the afternoon of the 30th of April. So... I'd say load up your PS4 when you wake up today or when you load it up this afternoon or whatever um, and just let it download the awesomeness. I'm sure a lot of people are going to be happy about ha finally having an option for HDCP off. Anyway, that is me done for this video. Thank you very much for watching.
and I'll see you next time.